Hey Gemini! Welcome back to the Guiding Chariot. Oh, this is going to be your first reading for March, so let's get into it. Um, house rules still apply as always. This will be a general message for all Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. Cross watchers also welcome. Um, my only ask is that you take the messages as they resonate. Do not force anything. It either fits your situation or you leave it on the table. All right, my love, so we are going to look at three big things you need to know for the month of March. Um, whoo, I am so excited for this month. Like, I can't even tell you. Like, it feels like it's going to be such a powerful month. Like, a lot of shifting, a lot of changes, definitely bringing some opportunities in it. It may not be the most comfortable, if I'm completely honest. Because it may not. It literally may not. You know, this month I feel like is going to ask a lot of us to really, really adult and step up and show up for ourselves. And that may mean really tackling some fears or some insecurities. So it may not be the most comfortable month. I think it's going to be incredibly rewarding. So if you can just lean into all of that, things will be great. So I don't, I think it's going to be a wonderful month regardless. But there just may be moments that are going to push you a little bit. And you, it would help you out to just be willing to go through it right all right so we are going to pull some oracles and then we're going to go a little deeper using the tarot as we normally do so as we wait for your oracle cards to jump out we're just going to chat a little bit so gemini's so gemini's by the way i hope you guys are doing very well your your love reading went really well last month uh your general reading was pretty good you had some had some things, but it looked like you definitely were on. Oh, goodness. Okay. Someone fell on the floor. Hold on. If it's face up, we're going to take it. Nope, face down. We're going to leave that there. So, slide that puppy in there. Oh. Let <laughs> me get situated again. All right. Um, but your February readings were amazing, Gemini. Absolutely amazing. And remember, time is fluid, so if you haven't seen those, you may still want to see those. Those are, those are really awesome readings. Things are going very well, or should be going very well for you. So I'm excited to see what March brings. I know your last healing, there actually was a lot of, a lot of positivity and a lot of support, but there was a big need for healing and some me time. Definitely a time where we could use some rest, right, for whatever reason. I'm kind of excited to see how that plays out in this first reading. I was so tempted to take that card, but I'm like, no. There we go. That's the real one. All right. These guys are a little long, so I'm just going to cut for this. You might hear the rain in the background. It, it had, we had like a little quick shower just now, right as I was turning the camera on. So you might hear, you might hear some wind or some sprinkles going on in the background. I hope it's not distracting at all. All right, my lovelies. I don't know why I'm holding you in suspense. I just, I don't want to flip them over. All right, so we've got mountain, let it go, and aspiration. So Gemini's. I'm going to throw this out real quick. I'd started off with the Pisces reading. Pisces got both, both of these cards. And I promise you I shuffle between every single video. So, And plus you see, I shuffle and they just jump out. So if you are dealing with a Pisces, it may be super helpful to watch the Pisces video. Or if you are a Pisces cross watcher and you're dealing with the Gemini, there definitely may be something in these videos for you. So, kind of exciting. All right, so let's break it down. We've got mountain, let it go, and aspiration. Whew. We're going to clarify and go a little deeper with the tarot, but if I were to blend the three of these together to kind of take an overview of your month, it does seem like there is something we're overcoming this month, which is great. I love that. Um, when I think of the mountain card, you know, you think of a mountain as a big block, right? It's a big heap of rock. It's a big obstacle in front of us. Um, this card does speak to you having the ability to move around it or to overcome this block, right? I mean, even 
you look at this mountain, there's a, you know, I get it looks like someone's mouth, but you know, there is an opening, there's a way through, right? This also makes me think of like Smog's Mountain, if you're a, a Lord of the Rings fan for some reason. It looks nothing like this, but for some reason it makes me think that. But there is a way through it, right? It seems large, it seems impenetrable, but there's a passage. You know, worst case scenario, you can even just walk around it, right? Like, just because it's big and huge does not mean you cannot overcome it. So this particular card does carry that, that kind of heads up that you can move around this, you can overcome, you have the strength to make it through whatever it is that you feel is blocking you. Also with aspiration, right? These are your dreams, these are your goals, these are your ideals. So this may be the final hurdle to reaching the top, right? Because when I talk about the aspiration card, I always kind of talk about reaching the summit, right? So this is this is like you, proud little peacock dragon, sitting on top of the mountain, you know, with this high perspective overlooking your domain because you've made it, right? So there's a great level of, I think, accomplishment and achievement coming to you through this month. And then we also have this Let It Go card. Now, to me, this particular Let It Go is 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 really gentle. It's kind of, it's, I don't want to say it's easy in the sense where, you know, isn't going to, you know, mean anything or have any significance, but it's easy in the sense where this card to me always looks so gentle. It always looks so nice because it's, you know, it's green, got a lot of heart chakra vibes in there. There's these cute little hummingbirds with this ribbon. So to me, it's more of a need of kind of surrendering and just allowing to be in flow and not trying to force it, not trying to push so hard. You know, you don't need to go and get the dynamite to blow the mountain down. Like this will just happen if you trust and, and kind of release into it. Hold on. I don't know if that helps. The sun was starting to set, so I just wanted to turn the light on just in case. Um, but anyway, so definitely may need a surrender. You may need to just be determined and push through something because we are we are reaching the summit for you. We are kind of getting to that. I don't want to say the finish line, but I want to like getting to the pinnacle. Like we're we're getting to the top of the situation, right? You're getting to like master position. I don't want to say that's necessarily the end. But let's let let's say like we're we're getting over the largest hurdle, right? From here on out, it's smooth sailing. From here on out, it's downhill. Like we've we've reached the top of the mountain, and now we're just heading down to the destination. Okay. love seeing that we're definitely overcoming some crazy stuff for you Gemini and look at that that's wait how did that happen oh I had some I had some reverse cards in here I don't know how they they got in there but devil in reverse bottom of your deck which is a great thing because having the devil card in reverse shows me that the obstacle the mountain no longer has power over you right if the devil's in reverse the devil's in control and no one really should be controlling your destiny but you, Gemini. So this is you taking back your power. That's excellent. Oh, sorry. What's underneath there? Yeah. All right. So let's let's break this down. Let's break these things down. Hold on. So we've got this mountain card first. Now we have the Ten of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Three of Swords. All right. So... Honestly, I know everyone gets a little freaked out when you see the Three of Swords. It's not the most comfortable card. It's not a great card. But honestly, I think here in this spread, this is beautiful. Here we're talking about overcoming something. Here it is. Here it is. This is what you're conquering. Because again, this is energy of hurt and feeling betrayed and sad and, you know, very wounded, right? This is a very wounded energy. But look what comes before it. The Ten and Nine of Pentacles feeling confident, grounded, secure, and having abundance and commitment and something that is, you know, built to last, right? This is, these are very solid emotions, very solid feelings, and a very secure sense of self. This is what's replacing this emotional fear, right? This, this is deep emotional wounding, and usually when people suffer something like this, 
but it affects your self-esteem it it affects how you see yourself what potentials you think are possible for you right this can be super super damaging and hello it's been replaced so i actually love i honestly i really do love seeing this for you because again that just communicates to me that you're no longer holding yourself back. Your emotional space is not holding you back anymore. Whether it's sadness, whether it's fear, whether it's any of these like negative low vibe emotions you can picture. The key thing is that through this, whatever this mountain symbolizes for you, you gain such a strong, secure, confident sense of self that this no longer fits your storyline. And that's amazing, like that is amazing. You come out of this month so much stronger and so much more, I don't wanna say more capable because we're not talking about skills here, but I think how you see yourself, how you view yourself, how you feel about your position in this life completely improves. And that doesn't mean it went from bad to good. It could, about, it could go from good to great, but you are feeling very, very strong and secure in yourself by the end of this month, which is amazing. Absolutely love it. All right. Then we have this let it go card. Right. Also, I mean, also being clarified by great cards. We have the Four of Wands here. And it's so funny that we have... Because here we have the Ten to the Nine. Here we have a Four to the Three. Right? This, like, this like taking one step back. But it doesn't feel like we're losing progress. Right? It doesn't, it does, it doesn't feel like we're losing time or losing our ground. But, that, like, to see this... Let's call it a progression, so to speak. Right? because it's just taking like a step back. It feels more like a, oh, so sorry, I'm holding them out of frame. It feels kind of like, like at first I wanted to say it's kind of like going back to basics. Like you're just like solidifying the foundation before you go to the next thing, like really making sure everything's on lock and, and it's set. But like, as I kept thinking about it, it's more, it's more, it's giving me this sense of, like a slingshot like it's the pullback moment where we're building that tension and that pressure that like shoots you forward gemini because we have here this four of wands which is all about foundations right and there is an element of celebration and gratitude and being grateful um things that have to do with your community right um and then three is really to me i always think of the three as like that's when that's when you start seeing things leave the you know ethereal and it becomes physical right that's when you know our manifestations start to become tangible right and i love the way this deck portrays it because it's almost kind of like the three ones make this portal and this is where all the all those manifestations get delivered right this is the gateway it's open the portal's open um i mean even the four kind of has the same portal vibe to it right so this let it go i think is a is a is a strong surrendering in the sense where it's like, let it happen. You've done the thing. You've overcome the mountain, right? You've overcome the obstacle. Like, you don't have to try so hard. Like, let it be. Like, let it be. And follow your passions, right? Because you have here the Father of Wands. So driven by instinct. And honestly, the, you know, someone in this vibe has very strong, potent instincts. The drive is there. The fire is there. Trust it. Like, trust it. Like, you don't have to overdue, right? If you have this feeling that you should, you know, start a radio show, start a podcast, the key is just start. Like, like just follow that instinct and just start versus like, okay, well, I'm going to do this. I need to do the greatest version. I can, I'm going to have to invest in these amazing microphones and I'm going to have to, you know, make sure I get all the best, best guest stars. And I'm going to, I'm going to have to figure out the exact right time to post and to film and everything has to be ideal. And like, no, 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 no. It's not about that. It's really not about that. Trust in the flow. The thing is you just have to act, just do that thing you want to do, do it, do it, do it, do it. And if the, if it involves, you know, a community, if it involves, you know, people you know, right? Because like I was saying, this four of ones does have to do with community to a degree. Get them all involved. Get, like, be like, hey, hey, girlfriends, like, now's the time. This is the moment. We're going to do this. Like, I feel like this is a good time. You know, we've been talking about it. Let's make this happen, right? That's, that's the vibe I get in this let it go. Like, surrender. You don't have to control every minute detail, you know, in what this, this adventure is, whatever it is. Sorry, I felt that coming. I was like, oh, God. 
but love this. So yes, it is a surrendering with the let it go, but it's not, it's not throwing your hands in the air. It's like, this is going to evolve how it's meant to evolve. So it's about, it's about not controlling it. It's about not directing it. Just, just do what feels good. Like, and I know I'm making it overly simple, but that's really, that's really the vibe. You feel like doing the thing, do the thing. Don't worry about how to do it. Just do it. Just the key is to act. The key is to move. The key is just to make it happen. As this weird motorcycle thing decides to drive by. I wonder if that's the same person. I feel like this person has been driving around all day. Because I've heard this engine several times today. And then your last column, aspiration, right? Oh, so funny, I'm looking at it. Even this flower, the color of it is mountain pink. How trippy is that? Nice little synchronicity there. Anyway, so here we have the Empress. Great card to have on our side. I think that's the six, right? Yes. <laughs> six of swords, which is a lot of healing, but a lot of moving forward. The worst is behind us, which we know is true because we talked about that with the mountain, right? And then the Eight of Wands. So this is haste, speed. It's definitely communication. So you could be receiving some type of message. This may even be feedback from whatever this project is that you do. Positive feedback for sure. Having the Empress here does feel like this is some type of project or some type of endeavor you want to do. Because the Empress is all about creation, right? I mean, she carries creation, abundance, fertility... Um, it's a very, I always think of the Empress as a very playful, playful energy in contrast to her counterpart, the Emperor, who is about order and, you know, leading his people. There's a lot of leadership qualities in there where the Empress is a, is a much freer spirit. But right now in this reading, it's really giving me the sense of creation. Like even, even the color and pattern of the tree, you know, is kind of connected to these, the same kind of shape and color of these flowers here. It's, it's, it's like you're going through a blooming. Your creativity and your creation process is just so on fire right now and so powerful. Like, I would say that through your creativity, that's really how you're connecting to spirit this month. So this is a great, this is a great time for you to really work on, on your self projects, that thing you keep putting on the side, right? That, you know, and I, it, I don't know if this will relate to everyone or how it will relate to everyone, but it feels like this is, like it gives me these, this kind of entrepreneurial vibes. Forgive me if I'm saying that funny. But it's it's like this sense of like you want to, if not start your own business, but it, it does feel like you creating something. So like that podcast idea I threw out. Um, maybe you're, you're like really crafty and maybe you're going to sell something on Etsy and make a little Etsy store. Like that's kind of the vibe I get off of this column. Now that may not resonate with everyone, but it's this sense of creation, like you are making something yourself. This is some, it's a little passion project of yours. Doesn't mean that you're solo, because remember we have that community card. So it still can be a group effort, but like you're making something you're passionate to with your own hands or, you know, however you want to put that. But amazing, amazing thing. And I think the response from this is going to be really positive. And I think it's going to take you by surprise here with this Eight of Wands. Like you might be like, oh, I'm just gonna do this because I care about it and maybe, maybe it could grow into something down the road. But I think here with this Eight of Wands, like it literally, like it blows up. Like it, it literally, it blows up. It becomes such a great positive thing, right? So literally, I think this, this has something really significant. Like if you're resonating with this, again, take it back to this, let it go. If there's that thing you wanna do, literally do it like literally do it i think it will be incredibly powerful for you all right my lovelies gemini's i'm going to wrap up your reading here as always thank you for all the love and support you give me i appreciate it so much you guys are amazing um, i'm sending you lots of love and best wishes stay safe out there in the world um, because we're on youtube i always have to thank you for supporting my channel um, please continue to help me make it grow uh, smash that like button, leave some comments down below, let me know how the message resonated. You can also hit me up on The Guiding Chariot as well on Instagram. Sorry, you know it's The Guiding Chariot, silly me. Um, and if you're new, welcome. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be notified when your next reading pops up. 
But until next time, Gemini, stay safe. I love you guys. Take care. Bye.